Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are from KME1, Hong Leong Islamic Bank Berhad. We present about the Syariah Audit Program and Stimulation. Okay, before that, I will introduce my group member. Siti Nur Ain binti Mat, Siti Mariam Akila binti Azlan, Sharifah binti Musman, Nur Soleha binti Badri, Nur Zulaika binti Arifin, and Cik Halima binti Cik Nali. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, let's begin our presentation. Okay, first of all, I will explain about why we select the area to be audited. The selected areas are the products of ITAP, Murabaha Fiat Tawaru, Murabaha Purchase Order and Wakala Contracts. We choose these products because they have median level of risk profile to occur. This medium risk may result in the costly of the asset and harm or impede the operations of the bank. Thus, this can be done by measuring the impact of risk, for example the revenue loss and the loss of public confidence when there is breach of the products. This allows the bank to prioritize the risk and identify improvement areas by doing Sharia audit program. The area used is objective of the audit, audit process and procedures, governance structure and process, risk associated with the op activities and operations, and last the audit criteria of standards, policies, guidelines, and the best practices for benchmarking purpose. The first product that our group had decided to create Sharia audit program is ITAP contract. There are five testing objectives that implemented. Through this testing objective, we can say that all the documents must follow the guideline of BNM. In addition, the Sharia audit must play their role in terms of do a review about the advice given by relevant party pro to the approval process. The rest are review product disclosure sheet on the fee and charges are imposed and review the sequence of the transaction. Furthermore, in mitigate the risk whether the documentation is executed or not, the way is interviewing staff and authorizing party to determine their comprehension of the overall requirement of the process. Last but not least, in ensure using a exactly formula to calculate of early settlement, Sharia audit also can do a review on the calculation of early settlement charges, transaction or on sample basis. Hello there, my name is Sharifah binti Usman 117-1413 and we are going to continue the presentations with audit program for Murabaha via Tawarut product. We have four testing objectives that we are going to see. Firstly, is whether the product is offered and comply with all the PNM requirements, applicable laws and regulation. Second, whether the product is being offered transparently to the customers. Thirdly, whether the sequence of the transaction is adhered. And the fourth objective is whether a proper wakalah contract is executed. So, how we are going to mitigate the risk? First, we must ensure the product is following all the guidelines that have been provided by BNM and also have been approved by their Shariah Committee. How we test it? We are going to use several steps which includes by reviewing the structure of the product, the product disclosure sheet, how the product is executed and handled and by interviewing the staff to know about their knowledge and understanding about the product itself. Okay, we move to the Sharia Audit Program for Murabah. We have four testing objectives for this product. Okay, first, product is offered and comply with all the BNM requirements, applicable law and regulation. Risk for this testing product is product development based on BNM guideline. Second, product is being offered transparently to the customer on the fee and charge implemented. Risk for this product is the fee and charge imposed are not in line with the BNM guideline on product development, fee and charge, and transparency and disclosure. The sequence of the transaction is adhered to the Sharia guideline. Okay, risk for this testing product is the second of the transaction is not followed by the relevant staff and approval parties. Last, check for the proper documentation. Is for this testing objective is the buyer may defer on payment in Murabah on credit transactions. The first testing objective in Wakala is the product must comply with all BNM requirements and regulation. The product must follow the guideline highlighted by BNM. Next, the product will be reviewed by SAC, SC, 
and relevant parties to ensure that it completely follows the guideline given. Secondly, the product that is being offered must be transparent to the customer, especially on the fees and charges that are being imposed. This is to avoid any issues at a later date. Therefore, all the fees and charges imposed to the customer must be explained in the legal documentation. So, the actual charges and fees charged to customer will be reviewed. Thirdly, conduct a proper calculation of the fees. This is to avoid any miscalculation on the customer's fee. Therefore, a formula need to be set up for the calculation. In audit step, the Ujra formula and transaction will be reviewed. And the lastly, the contract is being executed properly. Because if not, it will affect the ownership of the asset. So, the contract is recorded as part of the overall process. Then, in audit step, the contract execution will be reviewed. Okay, with that, we will end our presentation about Sharia Audit Program and Stimulation. That's all from us. Thank you.